Hey guys, and we are back in Glaunico with the four gear. Camino. And uh, let's deep dive here with Julia. She's uh, the daughter of the family Bianchi. Bianchini. Biancheri. Oh, sorry, from, uh, for the, from the family of Biancheri. Uh, yeah, tell us a little bit about the factory here. What's going on? How was built it? And um, uh, well, yeah. the, um, the winery was founded uh, at the end of the last uh, century in uh, uh, at, the, at the end of the last century. Um, so it has a history that is uh, more than uh, 100 years. Yeah, yeah. It was founded cool. by the Forkir family, yeah. which originally come from Austria yeah, yeah. and found the winery here in Friuli Venezia Giulia. The, the winery was uh, um, uh, brought ahead by the family member. Yeah. And uh, in the 80s, my father who was a freshly uh, graduated enologist. Oh, cool. Uh, he, with, uh, with uh, another uh, person, he took the, the, the winery. The winery over Yes, right? and, and that's where the, the modern history of the winery started in the 80s because uh, they started to sell uh, wine also outside the Friuli Venezia Giulia, right? in, all over Italy okay. first. All over uh, Europe, then. Okay. And are you selling as well in the States? Yes, also. Okay, Canada, so. Canada, States. Europe, States, uh, everywhere. Yes, huh? uh, a little bit uh, in uh, Qatar. Ah, Hong Qatar Kong, as well? Okay, Australia. Cool. cool, that's nice. And that's it. That's good, that's very good. You have Prosecco, so yeah, Rosato. Uh, first of all, Ribola Gialla. Ribola Gialla, okay, yes, yes. And Prosecco. And Prosecco by side. <laughs> but uh, let's deep dive now in the, in the factory. If you allow me, uh, mm -hmm. Julia, sí. go and see how the factory is built, what they're doing here, and uh, yeah, let's dive in. And there is Glaunico, where my dad born, my aunt and everybody, so I didn't grow up there, but look how nice that is. Julia, back to you. Here is the start of the winery, huh? Yes, this is the, the first step uh, of all the production. As you can see, our vineyards are very near the, the winery, so we don't have the need to, to, to bring them from the vineyard yeah. uh, to the winery, so it's very quick. Yeah, so it's kilometer very... zero on that side, no transport yes. costs, nothing. Mm -hmm. We have yeah. it here and bring and it here, here yes. over. Wow, <laughs> yes. cool. Very convenient uh, uh, also because uh, we, we, it's important for not polluting no? Mm -hmm. uh, with, uh, with tractors yeah, yeah, on absolutely. the streets. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's very near, it's very quick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we harvest only by night. Mm -hmm. And this is where uh, um, the, the tractor is... Uh, it's coming here. See? Si. Yeah. pesati di. Ah, okay. So they wait the tractor here. Mm -hmm. So they have... A, how, how many tons they have? <laughs> you don't know that. Okay. <laughs> it depends. It depends on the variety, on the time, it yeah, depends. Yeah. Okay, it's different not, factors, not, eh? Yes. Okay. This is where all the grapes... The grapes come in brought. here, huh? Yes. This uh, machine, let's call it like that, brings all the grapes inside one of the three okay. presses that we have. The, okay. Those are vacuum presses. Vacuum presses, okay. okay. The, there is a balloon inside that in place. Okay and creates an uh, atmosphere of 0 0.2 bar negative bars. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And rotates. Okay. And this is where uh, in three hours we press all the grapes and we have the must. Okay, cool. The first must. First must, mm -hmm. huh? Then like uh, Jewish uh, yeah, yeah. fruit. Okay, cool. So, thank you, Julia. So from the hopper outside, this is somehow there, it's coming everything here in under the floor, eh, Julia? Mm -hmm. And then? Yes, all the mass comes inside this, this vat, stainless this steel vat. vat. Okay. And this is where we add the yeast. Uh -huh. Yeast is what makes the magical. Okay, <laughs> it's magical, okay. It transforms the sugars of yeah. the, the fruit uh, into alcohol. And so we have the wine after uh, a little time, a very little time, it's wow. not a very long uh, process. Okay, how many liters are here? Uh, these are uh, 500 hectoliters. 
500 hectares. Sí, and the, the, That's a lot. Sí. So you got drunk here, huh? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Never. <laughs> Never, okay, good. Cool. And these are uh, the vats for the steel wine. Yeah. But we also have the uh, the other one, the one that makes the um, sparklings. Yeah. And are those. This is steel and this is sparkling. Sparkling. Here, huh? As you can see. Uh, no, this one is empty, but. Uh, uh, okay, this one. You can see this has six bar of uh, pressure. Six bars of yes. pressure, you can see it here. Huh? Okay. And as well, the, the so, weight we have so here, 321 hectoliters, mm -hmm. eh? Yes. In so one the, of this one cups. is empty, this one is already the, the, um, the sparkling wine. I think it's uh, uh, Prosecco. It's Prosecco, this Prosecco one. Prosecco 2023 is ready. Okay, cool. So we keep it very cool at zero degree. Yeah. And uh, I think in... Uh, zero degree? Um, a few weeks uh, it will be ready to be bottled. Wow, cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. How many bottles uh, you got here from this? I'm not very beast. good in math, but uh, no, I don't know. You don't know. No, okay. no, no, I know how to do, but I can do it uh, on my mind. Later, <laughs> Julia will do it later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we have as well. This is per i Rossi. Ah, okay, red wine, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. How many you have of this big uh, beast here? It's more than thirty thousand hectoliters. In wow. Total. Amazing, amazing, so cool. See, these are the, um, the, the vats for the red wine. Yeah. It's called Ganymede Method because it's very different from the one for sparkling. Okay. Because you put uh, everything inside the skins yeah. and, and everything, the grape. So, what Pinot Grigio, if you are interested here? Sauvignon, un po di tutto. Sauvignon, the, so bit of... the, the steel white wines. Uh, were the, the core business of it from the beginning. Yeah, yeah okay. So ah, the, the sparklings still? came yeah. after. Ah, the sparkling yes, came after? in the last, last uh, 15 years. Okay. Yes. It's a Prosecco, it's like a champagne. Is this, uh, do you have a brand of that? Is registered somehow, the Prosecco? The uh, Prosecco is a DOC. Okay. The Ribola Gialla as well is a DOC. Okay, perfect. But they are both uh, uh, Charmat method. Okay, Not perfect. classical method. Not no classical nuance. method, okay. But uh, the Ribola Gialla, yeah. Uh, differently from the Prosecco, yeah. uh, it's a long Sherman method, so it stays on the, on the yeast yeah. up to 10 or 12 months. Okay. So the, the final product is uh, more high quality, yeah, yeah. more uh, interesting aromas. And, okay, cool. Uh, while the Prosecco is more on the fruity side, very easy and, and fresh. Oh, cool, cool, perfect. So, and there is the factory where you bottle everything, huh? See, this is the last part of the process, of course. Yeah. The bottling line. Uh, at the moment... So you can see all bottles here. Here okay, we are seen. bottling the Prosecco. Just a, a question. The, the design of the bottles, mm -hmm. is this made by yourself? Uh, we have an agency, a graphic okay. the agency, but of course we decide yeah, yeah, the, the final result. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Because I know there is always a kind of um, style when you're doing the design of the models mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Huh? See, see, we decided to have, uh, when we did the, the first restyling 12 years ago, uh, no, 20 years ago, sorry, yeah, yeah. Uh, we decided to have a more uh, modern look. Look at that one, okay. So cool. Bottles, they come in here? See, they come here, we put them on the... Uh, motion uh, on the motion of the engine. Yeah. The first step, of course, is washing them, Cleaning, sterilize, sterilize and them. dry them. And dry them, and okay. Dry. When they are fully sterilized and dry, of course, we can put inside the wine. If you want, we can. Yeah. So on that side here. Ah. Oh. Okay. You see it from here? Okay. Washing process. Washing process this, is here. This is the machine that fills the, the, the liquid. The, the liquid, huh? Mm -hmm. Washing, and filling up. Yes. Corking. And the corking, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow. So three steps. Cleaning, One, filling, yes. corking. Wow. The, uh, the security cage. Yeah, you can see here the cork. And then... 
is here coming with the uh, security pain. With the security pain. Wow. So cool. There is where the uh, capsule is uh, put. Let's go over. The capsuling is coming over. Wow. Everything motorized. Everything automa automated. Eh? So cool. Amazing. Labeling, front and back labeling. So the labeling process is here. In the front and in the back. Look how nice the bottle looks. So cool. And then we have here the packaging. And Julia will deliver it at your home. <laughs> so cool. So the bottling line uh, is not working every day. Yeah. It's just uh, a period of the year. Uh, right now we are bottling, currently bottling Prosecco, and uh, this line is very automat uh, automatic. Automated, huh? yes. is everything automated? It's very modern. Yeah. And uh, so we can bottle up to 3,000 bottles per hour. 3,000 bottles per hour, wow. Per That's hour. a number, huh? Yes. As I told you, it's very automatic, so doesn't need many many people working there. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, in the last uh, decade, yeah. we grew up a lot, and we went worldwide, yeah. uh, sending our wine. So we grow a lot, and uh, and the people working in Fakir still is, working. Yes, it. so it's still <laughs> it's still much. always the same amount of people yes. are working here, right? Huh? And yes. we have here as well a lot of storage here, huh? Wow, very modern. Okay. Yes, this way of uh, storaging of the, the bottles uh, allowed us uh, to go up one floor so we can store more bottles than okay, we did before. It, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. So you optimize here the space, yes. huh? Yes, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Cool. Let's go inside and maybe Let's have a glass. Inside. Huh? Let's yeah. go inside. Cool. Okay. So this is the meeting room, the degustation room mm -hmm. that you have Tasting, here. Tasting, but very technical. Yeah. Because we are now currently building an agriturism. Wow, agriturism. over there. Yeah, okay. Locanda for Kier, right oh. there, the, the let's yellow check out, building. Let's check out this one later yes. on. And yeah. that will be more um, hospitality with uh, five rooms. Okay, cool. Uh, an apartment. Oh, wow. Okay. A pool, bike renting. Wow, and so cool. See? So, so cool. this will be, we remain as a technical, uh, as a technical tasting, tasting room, room huh? and that's the tourist, yeah. uh, and, and no tourist. Over there is your dad living, See? Huh? <laughs> okay. So it's very close to here, huh? <laughs> Do you really need to be careful what they're doing here? Yeah? <laughs> <See, laughs> always. So nice. So guys, let's come to a closely end here to the vlog. And Julia is telling us a little bit about uh, all the winery that they have mm -hmm. here coming from the Prosecco to the to the red wine. Mm -hmm. These are all uh, uh, our wines. Yeah. Starting from Prosecco, we have two different, three different uh, styles. Classical Prosecco Extra yes. Dry, Rosé Prosecco Brut, yeah. and the Frizzante. And the Frizzante. Then, what, what's, what's the difference, you know? Uh, between... um, this is 100% uh, Glera, grape variety. Okay. And this is 85% Glera, 15% Pinot Noir. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. cool. Uh, Ribola Gialla, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Our That's... best uh, selling <laughs> okay, wine. Cool. Moscato Rosa is a sweet uh, yeah. sparkling for desserts. Okay. Then we have uh, Pinot Grigio Rosadis. It's okay. a blush Pinot Grigio. Ribola Gialla also, but uh, uh, the steel version. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we have our core business, this classical white. Card, uh, yeah, okay, Chardonnay. Friulano, Chardonnay, Sauvignon, yeah. Pinot Grigio, Pinot Tramine. Grigio. Tramine yeah. Then we have the classical line of the reds, Friulian reds, okay. Refosco, Cabernet Perfect. Merlot, and Pinot Noir. Okay. And then we have uh, the brand new uh, wow, okay. products. Cool. These are the, they call the ultra natural wines. Cool. Why Pivi. that? Why ultra natural? Because it's, um, they come from a variety that is called Pivi. Mm -hmm. uh, are grapes uh, um, naturally resistant to all the disease. Yeah. So you don't have to spray chemicals on the vineyard. Okay, cool. Because they are naturally uh, resistant to disease. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Cool. So it's more than organic. More than Be organic. Beyond organic. Beyond organic, okay. Uh, and then, oh sorry, yeah? and then we have sure. the brand new product, our wow. vermouth, 
Wow, the vermouth. Artisanal vermouth. Wow, very nice bottle. Yes, very and nice. super good. Uh, it's made from uh, Ribola Jala wine. Okay, cool. Caramel and uh, 25 uh, spontaneous herbs um, harvest on the hills of Friuli Venezia Giulia. Wow, so it's so super cool. uh, aromatic. Super aromatic, mm -hmm. okay. Cool, Julia, and uh, we have as well a lot of, <laughs> uh, I don't know, all this kind of um, celebration that you prizes. received, prizes, whatever it is, you know, from um, all kinds of countries. I see as well from Brussels, mm -hmm. uh, from everywhere. Huh? See, uh, Germany. Germany, yes. Italy, Friuli, Venezia Giulia. From uh, Friuli, absolutely. <laughs> so that winery here is amazing. Hey, Julia, thank you very much for hosting us here. Thank you. And uh, cheers. Cheers. On Chin -chin. Fulkir. Chin -chin. Thank you. Buongiorno, Gino. Salute. Salute. Ciao. Thank you. In the next one. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, Julia. Ciao, ciao. ciao, ciao.